Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hey guys. Jamie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you, David. Thank you for inviting me to the store hall. You know, well, the reality is, is there's actually some things in the store hall that I want you to try. Cool. And we had a lot of fun uh, having you down to another store hall we did not too long ago. We did 10 bottles. But these, today we're doing seven amazing special bottles that I was able to get. And some of these I've opened, some of these I haven't, but you've never seen them in a store hall. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to roll them on out here in just a second and get started. But before you get into it, if you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to Whiskey Row if you have not. Go over to Beyond the Row and subscribe there. So first up tonight is 1792 Sweet Wheat. Now this is a great, great bottle. We got this from one of our Patreons, Jason, out in Idaho. Thank you so much, Jason, for getting this for us. He got this. It was uh, basically $60, got it out to us. And this thing is fantastic. Now, have you ever tried this one? I was going to say, David, I'm a fan <laughs> of 1792. And it says sweet on the label, so you've got to like it, right? I, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to open this one because I already have one. And I have it open, so we're going to use that one, okay? Okay. All right. Sounds good. Now, I've got to pour myself and taste it first to make sure it's not poisonous. <laughs> Maybe we'll taste it at the same time. Everybody hates you for that. I know. Everybody <laughs> hates it when I do that. It smells like sweet wheat. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's like a really nice caramel with a little brown sugar. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. That smells really good. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that tastes amazing. It's really good. Sweet wheat. It's got a nice sweetness. It does. It is very weedy. You can taste like a lot of grain, a lot of wheat in there, but it has a nice caramel, a little bit of barrel oak, caramel, char kind of thing. honey, some honey in there. Oh, wow. Getting a little bit of an herbalness, very faint, but then it's got a little bit of a floralness and a little Good berry finish. Yeah. yeah. Buttery finish. Ooh. Nice mouthfeel. It's a solid bottle. Uh, I've put this blinded up against other weeded bourbons and it's like, especially the like special weeded bourbons and it's not done super well, but just sipping on it, it's really, really nice. 91.2 proof, so it's not too proofy. It's, yeah, it's not bad. To me, it gives, it, it's similar to other weeded bourbons, like maybe like a, a Maker's Mark 46, but it's, it's a little bit different from like a Weller where you... I kind of get it like a cereal um, on yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, it's got a little bit of a cereal grains and some like uh, some barrel have, quality have to it. Have you eaten your Wheaties today? No, but I feel like I'm drinking them <laughs> right now. All right. Well, Jamie, guess what? We messed up the video already because whenever we start these videos, these store halls, we talk about what's coming into the speakeasy, but we also got to talk about what's going out of the speakeasy. We killed this in one of our live streams the other night. Nice. Wait, correction. Fair enough. Fair enough. I killed one of these in the live stream. Jamie killed it. It's an Old Forester 1910. This is an amazing, amazing product from Old Forester. If you like Woodford Reserve Double Oaked, if you like sweeter bourbons, this is an absolute treasure. It's classic. We've already had one screw up, and but we're, we're done. We're David, done with the screw ups. What? What's next? <laughs> what's next <laughs> is Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. It's become one of my just go-to bottles. Like whenever I walk in the speakeasy and it's just, I want something kind of mid proofs one 110s, 115s. I just, I don't even think about it. I go in and I grab a Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. This one coming in at... 115.1, uh, but this is batch 141, came out April 5th, 2022. Now, what some of you astute viewers may notice, this has actually been opened. Uh, we got this down in Georgia when we went down there recently. I paid $70 uh, retail for this. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually this far down. Yeah. When we were at uh, at Kristen and Jordan's house, uh, daughter and son-in-law we uh we may or may not have opened this and consumed some it did actually it did actually didn't come from the store opened surprisingly but uh but it's really really enjoyable so i'm not a huge fan of smoke wagon because it is on the spicier side and i think that's just uh, again you know the difference between our palates but it's quality i definitely can tell that it's a quality bourbon yeah and for 70 bucks when you can find one of these it's definitely worth picking one up if you've never tried it all right up next tonight the next bottle in the store all is the penelope architect now this is a first of all i have had some penelope before i did not love it but this one comes in at 104 proof and it is really safe jamie do you want a pour of this <laughs> yes okay please. let's get you a pour my glass is empty yes so the penelope architect comes in at 104 proof it is a very very Nice bourbon. We actually ended up opening this Ooh. up on one of the live streams we did a, a couple of weeks ago, maybe, maybe three weeks ago. We actually got this from one of our Patreons, Bill, uh, in uh, from Illinois. Uh, picked it up for us for $80. Very excited to have this one. 
And the other Penelope I have, I'm not a huge fan of, which was a store pick barrel proof one. Yeah. But, but this one I really, really liked on the live stream. So it's had about three weeks to open up. What do we, uh, what do we think, Jamie? Buttery. It's very buttery, some butterscotch. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of kind of a very like syrupy brown sugar. I know my, my mind is just drawing a blank because I'm like, I'm just covered in whatever it smells like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it smells really, really nice. It does. Pound cake. That's what it is. Buttery, nice, it's light a, pound cake. I'm getting this very faint kind of baked oh, cake. Okay, let's drink it. I'm no, ready. It smells, this smells amazing, especially after three weeks that it's had to open up. So there's a little bit of a nuttiness and a little bit of like a, an oaky wood. Oak, yeah. Oaky. It's, it's, but it's not bitter oak. Sometimes you get oakiness and it's really bittery or very charred. This is just like straight oak. It's not bitter though. This one is actually intriguing mm -hmm. because I feel like it's very different. This one has like a it's very different. Yeah, it is. This has like a little bit of kind of like a, like a rendered butter mm -hmm. with a simple syrup and has a really good mouthfeel, a really nice finish. It's like very oaky or, or yeah. charred. Yeah, but the sweetness is really prominent. Yeah, it is. I do get a lot of char at the end, though. It's different than the Penelope Barrel Proof I have. I don't know how they made this, but this thing is really good. Bill, thank you so much for helping me uh, helping us pick this one is up. Is that like a floral note at the beginning? There is. There's a floral note right at the very front, and then it's immediately gone, and then it goes into butter. kind of that oakiness and the butter, and then the char butter starts to the charred oak butter thing kind of continues toward the finish. <laughs> up next is a Garrisonville Brothers Balmoria. Now, I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but that's what I call it is the Balmoria. I think that's right. Comes in at 115 proof out of the great Republic of Texas, the great state of Texas. This thing, uh, we opened on a live stream, so it is open. Uh, this was sent to us by Chad in Connecticut. Chad, uh, thank you so much for doing this. This was actually a gift. He gave this to us to the wow, channel. Wow, thanks, Chad. Yeah, thank you so much, Chad. So, it's a cool looking bottle. <laughs> it's a very cool bottle. Uh, they're, it, they're so, Garrisonville Brothers is so proud of it, they gave it its own medal. So it's already <laughs> won a medal. It actually has won some medals in, in theory. It's got some... Uh, double gold from the World Spirits in San Francisco. We opened this on a live stream not too long ago. I didn't love it, but people told me when you first pop it open, it's not that great. Give it a little time. Pour a little bit of this to try it. It's been three weeks. We'll do a, a little sippy sippy and see how it goes. Wow, nice and dark. It is incredibly dark. Look how dark this thing is. So brown sugar, like there's no tomorrow. That was the predominant note I got. It was a very kind of a, and it's not like a cinnamon brown sugar. It's more of like a, a syrupy sweet brown sugar. Yeah, maple. I smell a little bit of maple. Really? In there. Yeah. All right, you gotta have a have that Here, back in a second. Smell that back. I do. I get some brown sugar, some maple syrup, a little bit of oak. I get a little bit of graininess. I'm gonna drink it. Yep. Definitely Ooh. comes in at 115 proof. So I can see it sweetened up a lot. It has sweetened up a lot. Like the first is like bam spice proof all up front. Mm -hmm. A little bit of like a weird tea taste. There and is. And then all of a sudden the ending just gets super sweet. When I first had this on the live stream, that tea note came out really strong along with a lot of barrel. That barrel is lightened up a lot. I'm still getting a good amount of tea. I still get the barrel though. But the, the, the sweetness has really come into this one. It's definitely a lot better oh. now. All right, up next tonight is a Maker's Mark 2020 limited release. This is the SE4PR5, which has got to be the worst naming convention in the I, history I, of naming I conventions. I kind of was like looking at you like... I know, look, it's SE4 by PR5. Comes in at 110.8 proof. This is part of, uh, it says it's a marriage of virgin toasted American and French oak staves. A great Patreon supporter of the channel, AW out in California, picked this up. Uh, AW, got this to us. thank you. It's 87. $7. Super, super excited to get this one. Now, we opened this actually on, on the same live stream. I don't know why we're opening bottles on live streams when we haven't even done store hauls on them yet. And it's definitely spicier than an FAEO2. The FAEO2 is much more well balanced, but I actually like this one better than the FAEO1. Jamie said she wants to try it, so let's pop it open. Wow, a nice cork. It is a synthetic cork, but that was a nice cork pop. Yeah. But it's like spice with like floral notes underneath it. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla, a little more vanilla than caramel. 
That's interesting. It's like spice and vanilla. Comes in at 110.8 proof and wow. it smells all of that. Yeah, it does. And it's been open for, like I said, three weeks now. So it's had some time to open up and maybe the sweetness will be a little bit stronger than it was before. So still spicy and proofy off the front. Wow. Very caramel. If caramel was like a sugar, you know, like in a grainy sugar, it would be like a caramel brown sugar. That is the weirdest way I've heard explaining it, but you are spot on. <laughs> it is. It that really is like is. a grainy caramel sugar. This is my cup. Remember that. <laughs> but it's got still got a really strong spicy note, a little bit of barrel, kind of a barrel wood there. It's got a, a tremendous mouthfeel though. If you can stumble into one of these, definitely pick one up. These are fantastic. If not, pick up an FAE02 from 2021 if you can find one of those. And if not, wait till this year when Makers comes out with something. Up next tonight, second to last bottle, Weller Full Proof. Now I have been looking for one of these for quite a while. I'd probably say I've, a solid year I've been trying to find one of these and I've never, never been able to get one. Now this comes in at 114 proof. Now Ken from North Carolina, thank you so much for helping me get this. Super appreciate your support in helping me get this. Uh, I had to trade away a bottle, kind of sad. Uh, had to trade away a Stag Junior. I, I gave it up because I've never had one. I needed it for the channel. I've done Stag reviews, but now I've got a Weller Full Proof. So hopefully yeah. it was a decent trade. It's a classy looking bottle. It's a very distinguished gentleman of a bottle. Now I have a Weller single barrel. I won for the, from the Virginia ABC. Obviously Weller uh, Antique 107 I've had a couple times. Weller Special Reserve I've had. Weller 12. Uh, you guys know I've, it tends to win blinds. Whenever I have Weller 12, it wins blinds. And I love Poor Man's Pappy. I have had this as a, a somebody sent me a sample, which which I'm extremely grateful for. What's up next? Last bottle. Mictors. Last bottle of the night. It is a Mictors, and I'm so <laughs> excited for this thing. Mictors toasted barrel finish. I could not be more excited for this thing. This thing comes in at, at 91.4 proof. It does not have a lot of proof. It's very, very mild uh, as far as like proof wise. However, it is fantastic. I have one of them. Uh, I was able to pick up another one not too long ago. So this is a backup bottle, which is rare because to find something like this, but uh, Jerry in town, a local buddy of mine, sold this to me for 150. I was glad to do it. 150? I thought it was $10. It is $10. I said 150, but what I really but meant no was $10. Is it worth the four, $450 most people charge, most secondary prices charge? The answer is no. Uh, unless you just think bourbon is worth $450. I no. tend to think that bourbon is not worth $450, but this is a really, really good bottle. If you can end up finding one of these at retail or even sub $200, I would recommend it. Now I do have one of these open, so we're gonna grab the one that we have open and Jamie's gonna try it. Cheers, let's try it. Cheers to Mictors. Toasted marshmallow, <sighs> really thick and syrupy smell. Caramel. Gobs of caramel. Oh, wow. Toasted marshmallow. Nuggets of caramel. Oh, it dancing. smells like, like Three Musketeers nugget. This has just a tremendous mouthfeel. A little bit of oak. A little bit of oak up front. And then it just starts drawing the moisture out of your mouth. <gasps> it makes your mouth water. Tons of caramel, tons of <laughs> brown sugar, tons of toasted marshmallow. Wow. This is just so incredibly delicious. This is fantastic. It's really well balanced. It's a, it's definitely on the sweeter side, but it's still balanced. We ended on a really good note. Please hit that like button. It really helps us out. Subscribe to Whiskey Row if you have not. Check out Beyond the Row if you have not checked that out. There's a link in the description below. Go check out Beyond the Row Jamie's channel. Uh, I'm over there a lot, so it's not just Jamie. It's both of us. We're having a lot of fun over yeah. there. Uh, but, but Jamie, guess what? What? Until next time, find a bottle you love.